Clifford Takes a Trip by Norman Bridwell. I used to love this book when I was a kid. I actually found it in my basement looking for books that may be of interest to read. All the adventures of Clifford were so wonderful. This big dog could take anyone anywhere. So let's see where he's gonna take us. My question to you is, if you could have one pet that could become really big and take you anywhere you want, what pet would it be? What animal? Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is a happy day for me. This is the last day of school. Summer vacation is here and times are getting cool. Now I can play with my dog Clifford outside of school. Cause he's waiting for me over there without a care. We don't go on vacations anywhere. It's too hard to trip, trip Clifford on a bus or a train without a care. Because he's too big, we only go to places that Clifford can walk and grace with. Like picnics that we go in the park to taste whatever is there in the day or dark. Last year was different. Last year I went up to the mountains. Mommy and Daddy said it was too far for Clifford to walk, so he couldn't go in the car. So we left him with the lady next door. It was kinda sad. Look at him, he's crying, kinda mad, wondering if we'll ever come back. But of course we will. But that night Clifford was so lonely, he began to howl. I wonder where my people are going to be. He howled and howled and howled and howled until the night owl would scowl and scowl. Until someone threw a shoe at him and it didn't hurt Clifford's no, No, it didn't, but it did hurt his inner feelings. Cause we all got those inside of us and feeling and moving. And the next morning, Clifford set out to find us. He sniffed his way along the road. Differed. Clifford didn't mean to make trouble, but a lot of people had never seen a big red dog before. So you can see there's a bunch of accidents in the road. Clifford kept going. Nothing could stop him. You know how dogs have that powerful ability in their nose to go anywhere that they can smell and want to go? So he went past the grocery and meat car truck that was broken and his brain and brain and mind spoken. Wait a second, I may need to start helping. And then he saw a little old man trying to fix his truck and the man needed some help and had some bad luck. So what happened? Oh, let's see. Clifford stopped and helped him, actually. He took the little old man to a garage. The little old man gave Clifford a little lunch. If you can see what he's eating, to thank him for his help. He's having steak, sausages, and I think some pork and other things that he can get inside of his stomach. Then Clifford set out again. Nothing could stop him. No, my friends, not even wet cement. He just walked right through it. And traffic jams didn't stop him either. Clifford just tiptoed over the cars and he was a believer. And then he came to a toll bridge. Clifford had no money. But that didn't stop him because he knew how to swim. We didn't know Clifford was coming. We were just hanging out. My dad was fishing. My mom was just waiting for food and I was cooking it up. We were in a good mood. I found some new playmates to play with, two baby bears. And then, oh no, the mama came and she was angry there. I was having so much fun. I didn't even see mama bear. She didn't want strangers to play with her babies. She growled, I was in real trouble. I called out and heard no one. I was really concerned. Then we heard a loud growl that began to burn. Guess who was growling? Guess who was howling? It was Clifford who was coming. He was ready and the bear. Mama bear was surprised and ready to start running. She even forgot her babies there. I told Clifford that the mama bear was only protecting her children. So there's nothing to be of fear from. Good old Clifford took the baby bears back to Mama Bear up in the tree. And there was a happy family. Then he took us all back to the camp. Mommy and Daddy were surprised to see Clifford had came all the way just to be with us. I told them how Clifford saved my life. So they let Clifford stay with us all night. 
Yeah. Next year, maybe we will find another way to take Clifford with us when we go on vacation. This is the story about Clifford as he takes a trip. What did you like about the story? The lesson for me is sometimes we leave our friends away from us. We miss them. We love them. We can't be with them. And um, our friends can be pets. They're not only human beings. And sometimes we need to think about ways of bringing them along with us, inside of us. They need to be near us, even if they're not near us physically. And this is what this story means to me. A quick freestyle and it could just be. You have a great ability. Use that imagination to take what you love and make it a bigger part of your life. Even if it's not near, you can still use your imagined capacity to just create what you want with your reality. So just use it, cause if you don't, then you will lose it. Enjoy the clip story.